Hi everybody, Adi's Cards Gaming here, also Adi. Um, today's video, I'm bringing you, of course, the deck list that I used to win my last locals. I won using Jessmon. My matchups were a Jessmon mirror match, first game. Second game, I played against a green hybrid deck, which was really, really tough. And my last game, I played against Dark Nightmon, which was a very interesting deck that uh, my, uh, my friend that was playing it, he had a very interesting um, information with the Dark Knight one deck, but um, you you all know that by watching my uh, my uh, my matches that I record and stuff. But anyway, we'll get into the uh, deck list and yeah, hope you guys enjoy. All right, so we're getting into the uh, the profile anyway. So we're gonna start off with the babies. We are playing four Bettymons for the two uh, K piercing. And of course, we all know what Jessmon does. Jessmon gets the piercing effect when we go off, and we basically swing into our opponents and stuff. Gain a two thousand K, remove a body. Play a body and then swing twice. We all know what that does. We're playing the one Demi Marimon. The Demi Marimon's for the security. So when like you're swinging security and stuff, like it, it gains the extra one thousand. Like I wish we kind of played um, uh, five babies, but we're only allowed to play four copies of each card. Uh, we're gonna play off with the rookies now. We played, of course. Hang on, I'm not very good with all these deck profiles, dude. They can just grab four cards and go. We're playing four hook mods, of course. Searchers for all your Hookmons, Jessmons, and your Sistermons, of course, out of the two. So you're you're playing quite a bit of a huge, um, um, what you call it, uh, quantity of uh, different types, different numbers of, you know, Jessmons, Hookmons, Saviors, and all that stuff, and Bohooks, and Sistermons. Um, we're playing from the Structure deck, from the Red Structure deck, um, got uh, the, um, the, uh, Gallimon structure deck. We're playing two Gilmons, of course. The inheritance is the only thing that pops up. Like when you when you de uh, delete a Digimon, uh, trigger draw one, so you're going to be deleting. You can de um, you can destroy a Digimon with Jessmon. You can destroy a Digimon with uh, Gaia Force, uh, Atomic Laser, and stuff, or um, Bohawk's inheritance, where it, uh, you delete a five K, so you can delete a blocker or a rookie or something like that. You know, playing two of those. Uh, we're playing from the new um, BT7 support. We're playing four Hookmons, of course. This card, I actually have to say, like depending on what way you activate activate the um, the inheritance. Like I always activate this first if I don't see a um, if I don't see an inheritance or sorry a system on in hand, and I have like I have just one and I want to act make it active. This guy makes it crazy because you look at the top five cards and you add all system on's names. So when attacking, once we return, reveal the top five cards of the deck. Add all cards with system on names to your hand. And I uh, like if you've been watching my uh, my uh, locals and stuff, you saw that this like hit like loads of bodies when I was using the effect. Like I never missed a system on. I think only once and only um, one game, and that was it. But like I didn't brick as much. I had the effects going off live and stuff. Like it's a bit pricey for four K play cost, but it's realistically you just evolve on top of it, and then there you go. Like it's really really good. Um, next. Uh, we're going to finish off our level trees. We're playing, of course, tree system on Blanc. Draw one on play, and it's also a blocker if you have a Royal Knight or um, some if you have Jessmon or Hookmon on the field, of course. So it, it, it's it's a it's a it's a blocker, tree cost blocker, of course, and everything, and you can keep bringing it back. So um, your mon mon monodromon blockers, you can kind of like side them out if you wish. And to go with that as well, we're playing the. Tree System on Blanc Awakens. Um, this, I have to say, this with System on Blanc is really, really broken because, like, you can go off, right? <clears throat> you can go off, play this. You drew into this, and you're like, all right, Jessmon's still alive and everything. So you can go off, and you can go and, what you call it, swing. This dies. You can bring, you can bring something back or something like that, but you can bring this back. This is engraved. You can um, attach it underneath and everything, and then you get recovery plus one. So realistically, I didn't. I never used System on Blanc during the whole locals to uh, use as a blocker, which was dumb as hell. Like I never did. And uh, th this, this as well. Like if it gets destroyed, you get the add back. Uh, what you call it? You add back a Jessmon, a Hookmon, or a System on. Um, other than um, System on Blanc Awakened, because if this dies, it's okay because you have the Jessmon to bring it back from your grave for free. So yeah, really, really broken. Je Jessmon is really, really broken right now. With the um the the wording and stuff anyway, and let me just make sure that focuses. There we go. Uh, we're only going to our level fours. I actually I should leave this to last for like a little spicy tech. I did take this from um someone, but um 
well, it was an idea and I used it, but we're going off with the four grey months, of course. We all know what those two cost, uh, evolution and security attack plus one. I was re like, I was taking three securities. I was taking all securities and two swings and stuff in that swing per game. Um, we're play playing for uh, Bao Hookmon, of course. The um, 5k popper and stuff if you have a system on and play, which is really good. And it comes up quite a lot during this format because of all the um, hybrids and stuff. They're mostly level fours. Um, and then we're playing two sister month seals. Uh, realistically, I only played one of these kind of much. I didn't see the second copy pop up a few times. So you could like cut if you want to one. Uh, I, I leave that too, just in case, because it's really nice to have that one extra memory and stuff because that one extra memory does pop up and I will continue on and tell you why. The spice, which I've been seeing that been played and it was played in Cardiff. The, um, the one that won the Digifest in Cardiff was playing three burning Greymon. Um, because one, you can memory choke for the one cost on top of a level four. And at the same time, um, if your opponent had like no security and you had a tamer and you had like one memory left to play, like you were left on one memory, you could just evolve on top of that and swing for a game. It's really good. As well as that, um, if you could climb up, climb up on hybrid on top of hybrid. And if this Kyber has hybrids in its traits, um, you can delete one of your opponents level four Digimon or less. So you can get rid of rookies. Really, really good. Um, it came up once. It came up once for no it came up twice one first swing for game um almost swing for game but i had um <coughs> um i had less memory but where the memory came into play i was left on zero and then i just put my point on one memory and i was like there you go memory choking uh into our level fives of course we're playing you must have um saver hook mods of course four of these guys sadly this guy will be um limited to one of course but with the new structure decks um it'd be fine so jessmon won't be played for a while until the new structure decks come out we all know what it does. It plays a system on for free, and then if you have a system on play with the inheritance, <coughs> Jessmon's getting this attack twice. So yeah, really good. Um, just a really broken card. It's the main engine, to be fair. Um, we're playing a one of Metal Greymon from BT BT Seven. Um, I don't know why. I just I opted in. It came up a few times. Um, during not during my future matches, of course. Um, but I get to like drop down seven cost, and I get to play a tamer. And if I didn't have a tamer. Uh, I get to play a tamer for free. If I have a tamer, I gain two memories. So that next turn, I have like a level five to go into level six. And then if I have, if one of your opponents did monster lead, I gain a memory. So it's re it really works well with Jessmon, of course. And then of course, one Rise Greymon. You could realistically take this out for this if you want to. Um, it's down to you. I just played this weird ratio. Um, I can swap around anytime I want to. But Rise Greymon, did you burst two, play a tamer for free. And then if you have a tamer in play, you can do two thousand DP. So when attacking, so yeah, really broken. Um, that was all the level sixes. Or sorry, level fives. We're now on to the level sixes, and we're only playing four. We're, we're playing four Jessmons because, like, yes, we're only playing four, but because, like I said, Sistermon uh, Blanc Awakened just brings back Jessmons. So realistically, you have three Sistermons. You have three Sistermons. You have four Jessmons, so that's seven, and you can keep on recycling. So you recycle all cards. This works so well with Sistermon Awakened and stuff. That's why we're not playing. Uh, uh, Sister Mon um, Noir Awakened because it doesn't really pop up as much. I only stick with the uh, Blanc version because of the recovery plus one and the um, the resource gathering back. Um, yeah, this is this is very like this card broken with this deck now. Like I I kept putting it into the raising zone and left it there when I was playing against my uh, against the green player because the green player kept um, doing Angel Beamon, uh, suspending this and then swinging with Rhino uh, Beamon or Rhino. Um, the Rhino um, Digimon, and then it basically has the effect where it, when it's attacking, it digivolves into a higher insectoid. And then, because it had trashing effect and piercing, destroys this, trash the security card, and then checks. So it was doing two checks. So realistically, I played smart, left in the zone, and then when I had a system on hand, I was like, right, grand, next turn, raised it up, swung, game back, and then whatever, you know. Um, even, with, um, even with the one memory as well, I'm going to bring up the one memory. Uh, even with one memory, it's broken. Um, two level sevens, Omimon Blitz. Uh, this wins games. This actually helped me win um, loads of games previously in locals and stuff. But this only came up once or twice. One security to get rid of a big body, and at the same time, it got rid of a. Um, it got me game because <clears throat> with the uh, the burning um, Greymon, I didn't. I was left on zero memory, so I was like, okay, grand if I. Put down Burning Greymon, I can't swing for game, so I'll just put down Omnimon Blitz and swing for game, basically. 
Uh, we're going on to the option cards now. So we we'll start off with Tamers. We played three ties for the security and not to mention as well, it's seen as a rookie for the Burning Greymons as well. So it's technically a hybrid Jessmon deck, but at the same time, it's still Jessmon until like, I don't know if I can, but come up with a very mad, mad deck list for uh, Jessmon hybrid. But yeah, uh, security attack plus one and it's memory tamer and it's a body. Um, this is the this is this is the card on about the uh, the one cost uh, memory uh, judgment of the blade. This card popped up so many times. Um, I could not believe it. Like I I only remember playing it playing two of these, and I realistically should have been playing three or four. But I think three is a perfect perfect ratio because it gives one my hookmon in its name. It, one of your Digimon will hookmon its name or roll night and its type can attack your opponent on suspended Digimon. Right. So you can target your Jessmon, or you can take your Bow Hookmons, or your um, Saber Hookmons and stuff, and then it can attack your opponents this turn. So this is why I meant by, like, if you had, like, one memory, and then you had the seal and everything, the seal give you the one memory, you swing, and then you can activate this, give your um, your Jessmon um, the ability to attack into your opponent. So you just attack over your opponent, it has piercing, it does, um, was it, uh, one check, two check, three checks, it checks for four, three cards, and then it can swing again, like so. It basically the tie, the Greymon, the um, the Greymon, the Jessmon itself, and Judgment of the Blade is the most deadliest combo ever. As well as the sister, um, the but the new Hulkmon as well that searches out the um, the one that searches out all the sister mons and adds her hand. It, it just makes everything live and active. And not to mention as well with the ten security, you get to play a sister mon from your name from your hand or trash rides planes memory toss. Then you get to add this card to your hand. So really, really broken. And then last but not least, um, we're playing the one atomic blaster. I thought it was laser, my bad. You choose any number of your opponent's Digimon whose total DP adds up to 8,000 less or delete them. So I only play one. Like you could play two if you want, remove one of the seals and play two of these, but I only play one because this guy never came up much during my games, only in security. So it, it happens. It's really good. It just removes two bodies from the field with um, that up to the 1,000 AT. Or you can delete one Digimon, but realistically two. And then we're playing the two memory boosters because we do sometimes don't see see our cards and we do want to get a push with the memory and stuff um but yeah that's ba that's basically it. that's that that's the deck list this this deck is just pure pure broken just it, it's getting hit for a reason it is getting hit for a reason but anyway hope you guys enjoy this is Adi's cards gaming and till next time peace